and I want to come in and talk to you guys about your workflow for your work from home. Now, everybody might know or may not know there's a current epidemic that or pandemic that's currently happening in the world, pretty much. And a lot of us are choosing the work from home options. It may be different ways. One work from home option can be because your job that you currently work for has asked you to work from home like me. Or you may run your own online business from home like me. Either way it goes, you're going to have to work from home. So let's one, jump into best practices. Two, we're gonna go over to a workflow. Also, in the description below, I'm gonna leave this workflow for you guys. You can grab the link, use it how you wanna use it, but it'll be available for you guys. So the first thing is, what's gonna be the best practice for you to work from home? I need for you to one, have a designated workspace, okay? Many of us like to plop down in front of the, the TV, plop down on the couch, plop down in the bed, and that's fine if that's where you get, are the most productive, but many of us need a specific space where you are the most productive. So for example, me, I have my own office in the house. Work gets done here, I don't take work out of this room. So that's one thing you can do. The second thing that you need to do is make sure that your equipment is ready and up to date and is working. I had a lot of coworkers who either didn't have laptops, didn't have internet, and pretty much that's making it a little bit harder for them to work from home because they don't have some of these things. So make sure you have the equipment. I have a video where I tell you guys the best work from home equipment that you guys can get or some of the things that I use. So I'll leave the I'll leave the link in the description and I'll also make sure it slides up here at the top right corner. The next thing is you need to have specific hours that you're going to be working. Like for me, for work, I know that I work from 8.30 to 6 p.m. For my own personal my own personal business, I work that on majority Sundays. And I go ahead and I usually do that from 8 to 12. So I do my four-hour work week in that Sunday. So for everybody, your hours are different, but I definitely think your hours should be known. The next thing you need to think about is you need to limit the distractions. So you need to inform your family, inform your family that you are working. Now, I know that this isn't for you to ignore the family or not let them know what's going on, but you want to inform them that, hey, I'm working so that they can limit them maybe asking you for things. Maybe they can go ask someone else in the house or if they just do have to ask you, then they will. But make sure you let them know, hey, I'm working. So let's limit the interruptions that we have while I'm working. The next thing and last thing you need to do is you need to schedule breaks. You need to take time. You cannot work through the whole work day. You have to take breaks, whether that's 15 minutes or that's an hour, but you find a way to take the breaks so you can make it through your work time. The next thing we wanna go right into is we wanna go into the actual workflow. So for me, you guys, this is what my workflow looks like. And again, I am, have this link in the description for you guys. So what this workflow is, is pretty much I have a schedule. So what's my start time, what's my break time, what's my end time? So that's something you can do. What is your schedule, your start time, break time, end time? The next thing you need to do is you need to create your agenda. Who do you need to call? Who do you need to email? What do you? What must get done today? And you need to figure out what who do you need to follow up with or what do you need to follow up about? The next thing you need to do is you need to check your stats. What's due today? Like by the end of your work day, what is due? Now this is different for many of us because if you're work from home for work, some people go based off of projects, some people go based off of reports. So that's gonna be something that you're gonna have to find out with your job. But if you're doing it work from home for yourself, you know that there are certain things that you need to get done. How many emails need to get out? You know, do you need to create video? Do you need to create emails? What do you need to be creating for you to have a successful work from home day? The next thing you need to do is when you start to say, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this, you guys know that I believe in the power of three. You should be doing three things a, a day, but I know some of our work costs are for, for us to do more things, but you want to keep it limited so that you can allocate time to each project or each activity. So if, say, for example, if you know that you need to send out emails, you need to create the email, you might say, okay, that's going to take me an hour. So you'd put an hour next to emails. Or say, for example, you have a report that's due. You know that most reports, as long as you have all the information that you need, usually takes you two hours. You'll put two hours next to that report. So you want to allocate times 
And you also want to report projects. So for example, this morning, I already have had a I already had a conference with my supervisor letting her know that, hey, I'm working on this project and it will be done by this time. So you need to do that. Or say, for example, when I'm talking about my work from home as far as my business and my YouTube, hey, I'm doing this video and it needs to be prepared to drop on this day or this time. So you want to pick a time frame for the work you do. And the last thing you want to do is you want to wrap it up. You want to send completed information, completed reports, or at least update your supervisor or your lead about where you are with your projects or your reports. And then you also want to create the same agenda for tomorrow so that when you get ready to work tomorrow, or whenever your next work day will be, you're ready to go. So you guys, I hope this was helpful. Again, this link is in the description below. You guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, you guys. Hashtag pretty gang in the comments.